Yeah. I I said in the video, I was like, what do you call someone who's Is it lost? Odd? I don't know. Who do you call someone who's lost? A Roman. Oh, the Roman. Oh, oh. Totally Over cool. here. All right. Welcome to the Make a Joyful Noise Him Sing. It's way too cool. Like, hmm? yeah, I come all this way. Uh, and you come all that way. There we go. Wait for people to get on. Right, there you go. We got two. It'll, it'll pump up. Okay. All right. So today's hymn saying uh, actually is a theme verse. Stephanie was again in charge of curating our hymns for today. So Stephanie, what, what, what do you got for us today? So this was just inspired by... I think everyone's doing a lot of praying right now. It's not a strong suit of mine, and sometimes I feel like when I don't know what to pray for, or exactly how to pray, I like this Bible verse, and then I kind of think of, I don't know, sometimes like hymn lyrics as prayer going in my head. So the verse um, I was reminded of is Romans 8, verses 25 through 27, and I have a... NIV. NIV. Pull out. It's an old Bible I've had for forever. I'm kind of attached NIV's to it. NIV's good. NIV, Thank you. NRSV, uh, net. If you want to get a little literal. King I... James once in a while. Okay, I'm done. So I'm going to read the Bible verse now. <laughs> but if we hope for what we do not yet have, we wait for it patiently. In the same way, the Spirit helps us in our weakness. We do not know what we ought to pray for. But the Spirit himself intercedes for us with groans that words cannot express. And he who searches our hearts knows the mind of the Spirit, because the Spirit intercedes for the saints in accordance with God's will. Ooh, and so perfect with Pentecost Sunday coming up, too. I just like that image of even when we're lost and we don't know what to ask God for or how to pray, the Holy Spirit intercedes on our behalf. Hey, with Becky! God abiding with us. God abiding with us, yes. In the form of the Spirit. Like I said, perfect from Pentecost week. All right, so what is hymn number one? So the first hymn I picked is Just As I Am Without One Plea, which if you do have the hymnal is 592. Just As I Am Without One Plea. You can actually title four times. What was the title again? Oh, there you go. Pick that song too. You know, I feel like the way we're going, Living Water should get a sponsorship deal for these hymnals. I mean, come on. Just pump them up. <laughs> but then people would watch us. Oh, oh, good point. All right. <clears throat> 592, just as I am without one plea. Do you want to start? Do you want me to start? Um, you start. Just as I am without one plea, but that thy blood should shed for me, and that thou bidden come to thee, O Lamb of God, I come, I come. Just as I am, though tossed about with many a conflict, many a doubt, fighting confused within my doubt, O Lamb. Oh no. I come. I come. Woo! Okay, we're sweet. Just as I am, thou wilt receive, wilt welcome, part and bear me, because thy promise I believe, O Lamb of God, I come. I come, just as I am, thy love unknown has broken every barrier down, 
Now to be thine, yea, thine alone, O Lamb of God, I come, I come. See, I meant to say a thing, we were nailing the, like, two words on a note thing. I was like, yeah, we got this. And I was like, oh, no, I lost my spot. Well, fighting's and fears with him with that. It's just tricky this is wording tricky, there. Tricky. You know? mm, can't win them all. Okay. All right. Uh, <clears throat> next. So our next one is, Oh God, our help in ages past. It's 632. If you do happen to have... Oh, 632. Oh, and I hope you're singing with us. I know Becky's here. I can't see who the other people are exactly. I can see there's other people, but anyway. Let us know you're here. Sing loud. Sing proud. Once again, it's O God, our help in ages past. O God, our help in ages past. Why are you repeating what I said? Uh, I feel like I'd be like the one that gets Google. I'm like, O God, our, what was the rest? Help in ages past. Okay. How about you start this one? Okay. I know you or, know We're not one. doing all six, are we? Um, we don't have to do all six. I was six. thinking, let's do Does one. Does anyone have ones they per versus they prefer? Mm, let's see. Becky says she's singing. <laughs> Good. Oh. What did you do? All right, we'll scroll the wrong thing. There we go. Um, hold on, let me read. Okay, I think definitely one, five, and six. So two, three, and four, which one do you think speaks to you? Maybe four? I don't know, this is your theme, so I'm like... Uh, two. One, two, five, six. How about that? Okay, do you not four? like that? That's fine, that's fine. It's your, your choice. Then why even ask No, me? I just... I, we can sing all of curious them. Curious what your theological reasoning is, that's all. I think it's pretty. Okay. Really, my theological reasoning. Why don't... So maybe we'll try all six. Let's just start singing and see what happens. You're being difficult. <laughs> That's my specialty. All right. Oh God, our help in ages past, our hope for years to come, our shelter from the stormy blast, and our eternal home. Under the shadow of your throne, your saints have dwelt secure. Sufficient is your arm alone, and our defense is sure. Before the hills in order stood, or earth received its frame. From everlasting you are God, to endless years the same. A thousand ages in your sight are like an evening dawn. Short as the watch that ends the night before the rising sun. Time, like an ever-rolling stream, bears all our years away. They fly forgotten as a dream dies at the opening day. O oh God, our help in ages past, our hope for years to come. Still be our God while troubles last, and our eternal home. I told you we'd do all six. All right. What is next here? What? Where are we, are we in the theme? I know sometimes you like to... No, I didn't. Nope. It's just a really good theme with Romans 8, 25 through 27. Because, come on, theme verse. Let's go. Very exciting. Okay. Okay. So the next one is Healer of Our Every Ill. It's 612, if you do have it on or not. If not, Healer of Our Every Ill. And I'm still flipping. Okay. I feel like if you do want to get a hymnal, it's called the ELW. You can get it on the ELCA website. Okay. 
I might be doing this a while. I don't know. Only God knows. Who's our help in ages past? Okay. And here for every ill. A lot to me. Okay. I was. I thought you were still flipping. Nope. <laughs> all right. I think we do all four. You love Marty Halgan. Sorry. All right. Who? It's the Marty composer. He would take a hit in his every week. All right. Um, that Marty, good guy. Did you know Marty? Nope. No. <laughs> Am I starting it? Do you know it well enough to start mm -hmm, it? Mm -hmm, sure. I feel like it's easier for me to match you than All right, person. here we go. Healer of our every ill, light of each tomorrow, give us peace beyond our fear and hope beyond our sorrow. You who know our fears and sadness, Grace us with your peace and gladness. Spirit of all comfort, fill our hearts. Healer of our every ill, light of each tomorrow, give us peace beyond our fear and hope beyond our sorrow. In the pain and joy beholding how your grace is still unfolding, give us all your vision, God of love. Healer of our every ill, light of each tomorrow, Give us peace beyond our fear, and hope beyond our sorrow. Give us strength to love each other, every sister, every brother. Spirit of all kindness, be our guide. Healer of our every ill, Light of each tomorrow, give us peace beyond our fear, and hope beyond our sorrow. You who know each thought and feeling, teach us all your way of healing. Spirit of compassion, fill each heart. Healer of our every ill, light of each tomorrow, give us peace beyond our fear, and hope beyond our sorrow. Mm. All right. All right, and our next one is My Faith Looks Up To Me. The, not me, nobody but me, <laughs> 759, if you have a hymnal, my faith looks up to thee, the Lord is thee. We do a hymn sing a couple times. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh-huh. I look up to you. <laughs> ah, the malarkey. Okay. Oh, all right. Faith looks up to the number 759. Looks up to thee. Thanks for being with us tonight. You start laying in your water. <clears throat> Last one's a little high. Yeah, I gotta learn where you breathe in songs because yeah. sometimes it's like, eh, I'm out of air. <laughs> yes. it's, the, it's the joy of singing. Yeah. Okay. Um, you gotta start this one. Okay. My faith looks up to thee, the Lamb of Calvary, Savior divine. Now hear me while I pray, take all my guilt away. Oh, let me from this day be holy thine. May thy rich grace 
grace impart, Sweet to my faithful heart, My zeal inspire. As thou hast died for me, Oh, may my love to thee your warm and changeless be a living fire. One dark dark maze I tread, and griefs around me spread. Be thou my guide, in darkness turn to day. Why sorrow's tears away, nor let me ever stray from the outside. When men's last transient dream, when death's cold sullen stream, shall on me roll. Last Savior, then in love, fear and distrust remove. Oh, bear me safe above a ransomed soul. All right. Then we have a grand finale, yes? I don't know if it's a grand finale. But this is the song that pops into my head when I don't know what to pray. So it was mm. kind of the one that started it off, but I like it best, so we're ending with it. <laughs> it's called Abide With Me. It's 629. Abide with me. Do you want to say a little thing about the word abide in the Bible? Sure. Well, Steph is flipping to 629. Yeah, we, we talked about this at all form a little bit, actually, and that's pretty cool that um, the word abide, uh, biblically speaking, means to um, continuously be present, right? This is how God is present in communion. God abides in every way. How the Holy Spirit is present with us, abiding. Um, what? Does, okay. Um, no. Just, okay. You're talking, so I'm looking at you. Uh, <laughs> but you were like, okay, okay. No, uh, it wasn't. It wasn't this. Okay, I got it. <laughs> All right, there's a pie, a pie. Anyway, um, but yes, uh, I lost some train of thought. But a pie can be fully, continuously present. I like it because it's like a very deep sense of how God is constantly present with us. Oh yeah, in the Old Testament a pie that God abides in the tabernacle. It's another example. So my rough translation, God is with us. God doesn't leave yeah. us. Well, yeah. When we say that, we're saying abide. Like God's going through it with us. Fully and continuously. Without end. Fully present. Simultaneously. Like the Trinity. Okay. He covers the theology here. We all do theology together. Okay, I know. I'm just being silly. <laughs> Okay, who's starting? You, this you. This is the song you. Okay. You sing when you're not pray. You gotta leave us. Thanks. No pressure. <laughs> okay, here we Are go. Are we singing all five? Uh, yes. So deep breath, everyone. Abide <laughs> with me. Abide with me. Fast falls the evening tide. The darkness deepens, Lord, with me abide. When other helpers fail and comforts free, help of a helpless soul abide with me. Swift to its close selves, how thy little day. Earth's joys grow dim, its glories pass away. Change and decay in all around I see. O oh, thou who changest not, abide with me. I need thy 
sense every passing hour. What but thy grace can for the tempter's power? Who like thyself, my God can say can be? Who cloud and sunshine oh, abide with me? I fear no foe with thee at hand to bless. Hills have no weight and tears no bitterness. Where is the sting? Where great thy victory? And triumph still if thou abide with me. Hold thy thy cross before my closing eyes. Shine through the gloom and point me to the skies. As morning breaks and earth's vain shadow free, in life and death, O oh Lord, abide with me. All right. That also relates to the Sunday of the Holy Spirit. That's pretty cool. Completely unplanned. It's the Spirit abiding calling and leading us, guiding and abiding. You done? Sure. Okay. And then I had another verse that's also from Romans. I actually really like the book of Romans, even though I don't like Paul that much. Which was the book of the day on Bible Library. Continue. So I like this verse to kind of wrap it up and just kind of be a wish for everyone. It's Romans uh, chapter 15, verse 13, because I forgot if I already said that. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him, so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And just since it was kind of a little more serious of a hymn sing, really funny thing is, well, it's, it's funny and cool. There's this page that, um, do you remember what it's called? I really love it. Zach found it. Um, so in the Bible, there's a lot of imagery of the Holy Spirit oh. being represented as a bird, mostly a dove, right? Mm -hmm. the most. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what this um, page does is they take pictures of these really awesome or very different birds and they kind of do like the Holy Spirit when you do blank or the Holy Spirit doing this. I and I really on. like these different it's unvirtuous abbey. of church humor. Okay, unvirtuous abbey church humor. No, the church humor is mine. Uh -oh. Unvirtuous abbey stage name, but it's, it is church humor. Some find it funny, some so don't. So re clarify. It's a caveat what is there. The, what is the? Unvirtuous abbey. Like I said, so some okay. find it funny, some are like. Mm, well, but I like no. it just because we're all creating God's image. It's neat to see different images of the Holy Spirit through all the different yes, birds I like God the bird has thing. created. Yes. For example, this is an actual show you an something. actual photo of the Holy Spirit interceding on your behalf. Come on. <laughs> and Zach's running oh, the phone because we learned like last week right, I can't on. do that. Well, they have some like. It just be this stuff. It's like, mm, it's funny. But other things, like bird things, funny. Oh. Or like a uh, photo of the Holy Spirit hearing you are going to reopen your church. <laughs> Holy Spirit, not happy. All right, they, so they love the puffed up bird. Anyway. It's really fun seeing all the different birds and thinking about the Holy Spirit in different forms. Perfect. Yeah, there's some more. Maybe. All right. Well, I hope you have a good night. Thanks for. Uh, joining us for him sing, putting up with my commentary, and uh, yeah, thanks, Steph, for picking some great hymns. Welcome. Love the theme, setting the bar high. And if you have hymns that you uh, would like us to sing or for us to sing together, please send them to me, pastorsatbearatgmail.com. Um, yeah, that'd be great, especially because next week is anniversary week, so 
we'll have to see what happens. I mean, anniversary of him saying, we'll do it. I, I have no idea what's going to happen. I had it's a good. theme going. Steph's already up, way ahead of me on this one. But if you have ideas for a hymn that just says, Living Waters Anniversary, 25 years, or Pentecost, or um, whatever, please send it our way. Okay, have a good night.